Hello, my name is Paul Sutherland, and I wanted to put this video together in response to a couple uh, people on the Steel Guitar Forum that had concerns about and didn't quite understand how to use the B and C pedals on the country neck, the E9 neck. And I thought it would be very simple to show this in a video, and so that's what this is about. Um, I'm assuming you have a standard E9 country neck, 10 string, uh, if you have a 12 string, disregard your lower strings because we're not going to use them. When I say the B and C pedals, let me go through the floor pedals just so we're all together. Uh, and I believe this is the, pretty much the standard way to describe them. The A pedal is the one that raises the 5th and the 10th strings, the B strings, to C sharps. We're really not going to use that today. The B pedal is the pedal that raises the 3rd string and the 6th string, the G sharps, to A's. So there's, there's that change. It's a half tone raise. The C pedal, and this is really the pedal that everybody's when they're first starting out is wondering what the heck do I do with this thing. The C pedal raises the F sharp, or the F string, excuse me, the E string to F sharp. That's the fourth string. And it also raises the fifth string, the B to C sharp. So the two together, and so you, when I'm raising the fifth and stri sixth strings together, that's the sound. That pedal is rarely played by itself. It is usually played with the B pedal. So that's why this is about the B and C pedals. The primary use that I know is relates to strings 3, 4, 5, and 6. If you play those four strings together, whoops, and then push those two pedals down, you get that tone or that chord. For the purposes of the demonstration, I'm going to be in the key of G, and I'm going to stay in the key of G. What you need to understand, uh, and I'm assuming you're basically a new pedal steel player, or maybe you've been playing a while and you just never quite understood why, how, where to use this, why, how to use this. This all relates to scales, and you, you should know the, the, major eight, the major scale in the key of G, and I'm just going to play this on the fourth string. That should sound very familiar to you. Well, you can play the same thing with chords using the B and C pedals. And for, for right now, let's use strings 3, 4, and 5. There's your G chord. Next interval, the 2 minor which would be the A minor, is all I'm done is press the, the B and C pedals down and I'm playing the same strings. Now I want to go to the 3 minor, so I'm going to go up 2 frets to the 5th fret, and I have the B and C pedals down. And then I want to play a C chord at the 8th fret with no pedals. Then I want to go to the um, 5 chord, which would be the D chord with no pedals. Now I want to go to the 6 minor, that would be an E minor, and I'm going to put the B and C pedals down and stay on the 10th fret, and then the last chord is outside of the sequence, if, you, if I can call it that, it's, it's, a, um, it's an F sharp minor, I mean, excuse me, F sharp uh, diminished, and so to the, for this one I have to use the pedal that raises the 4th string a half tone. So I'm actually, I'd say a knee lever. I'm using the knee lever that raises the fifth a half tone. You can hear that that's kind of a dissonant sounding chord, and that's because it has to resolve. And it resolves when you go up two more frets, open pedals. So, so the whole thing should sound like this. Start going from the third fret to the fifteenth fret. Now the point of this is when you, uh, I'm trying to get my wife to not interrupt me, <laughs> the point of this is uh, you can play melodies just as you can play single note melodies. Anything that you can play single note on a pedal steel you can also play as a chord passage. So even though the band is playing in our case, in the key of G, they're just merrily strumming along on a G chord. You can do that. 
that. Now, I did jump down a couple times and hit the sixth string. The sixth string is just an octave lower than the third string, so it's really no different. What I did, um, there I went from the third fret, no pedals, to the fifth fret with pedals. Well, that's basically one three. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing a one three passage. Now the three is a is a minor chord because it has to be a minor in a standard major scale song. And there I, I went to the three, back to the two. One thing with the B and C pedals is any time you have you're playing and you're on the open chord, so here the open G chord, you can always press the B, B and C pedals down and go up two frets, even though the band is staying on whatever that open chord is. So if it's a G, if the band plays a G, I can always at any time go any of those variations. When the band goes to C, I can do the exact same thing. I can just hit the hit the B and C pedals. That's all I'm doing is tapping them quickly. Or I can do the same thing going up two frets with the pedals down. That, that's just a little picking variation. Same thing when I go to the D chord. It's really a way to add flourishes, if, you, if I can call it that, to your playing. Um, so, you've got your basic scale. Whoops. Now I want to add one little element here, and that's when you go to that F sharp diminished, there's a substitution you can make. Instead of using that knee lever that raises the E to an F, use the knee lever that lowers the E to an E flat. So instead of, instead of that, you have that. That, that's with the knee lever lowering the E. So the, the scale with that substitution in place would sound like this. I think for most of us that sounds perfectly acceptable. And I know the way my steel is set up, it's easier when I'm playing the B and C pedal to use the knee lever that lowers the E's. Uh, it's just physically where it's located. I can, of course, I can keep going up. You can also, of course, from the G, G chord to the third fret, you can go down. There's an awful lot of fill licks you can do right there within, uh, from the from the third fret dropping down to the first fret with the knee lever, coming back up to the third fret, hitting the B and C pedals, and going up two frets, and particularly using strings three and four. Uh, fifth string I add in often, but far more often I use just three and four. And that particularly is effective when you go high on the neck. That was nothing but, um, I'm, of course now my center is the 15th fret, Fifth, three in, strings three and four with no pedals, with the, bring the pedals in, B and C, go up two frets, so I'm up to 17 with B and C pedals, slide back down, release them, go down, down to the 13th fret with strings three and four and the knee lever that lowers the E. I resolved it down on the 10th fret. And particularly when you get up high, bar shiver, that's crying steel, uh, that's where it's coming from a lot.